Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman and we are looking at the home links from Unit 1, Lesson 2, uh, Country Sizes. Uh, this is dealing with comparing and ordering large value numbers with multiple digits. Take a look at the instructions at the top. It says, this table shows the sizes of 10 countries measured in square miles. Now you'll notice that those country names are organized in alphabetical order. Now that is one way to organize data. Uh, down here at the bottom, however, they're going to ask you to organize that information in a different way, not by the name of the country, but the size of the country in area in square miles. But let's take a look at a couple of these questions. It says, read the numbers to someone at home. Well, there's nothing to do with that one except go find a person in your house and read those numbers. Practicing how to read aloud large numbers will help you become more familiar with them. Number two asks you, which is the largest country listed? So again, we have to consult the table. And you'll notice that some of the uh, countries have numbers that are in the hundreds of thousands and some are in the tens of thousands. So if I just look at the column to the far left over here, we know that we're going to exclude several country choices for size because they are only in the tens of thousands. So now what we need to do, we need to look at which country has the largest digit in the 100,000th place value. And right up at the top, we have a number in the 900,000s. That number belongs to the country of Algeria in northern Africa, 919,600 square miles. So in order to answer that question, we'd write the name. Algeria. The smallest would be the one that had the smallest number. So again, the ones we eliminated for uh, our choices uh, for largest are the contenders for the smallest. So we have to look at the tens of thousands column right here. We have a five, we have a nine, we have another nine. So the one with the 5 in the 10,000th place value is the smallest, and that belongs to Greece. Okay, so smallest country in terms of uh, area out of these 10. Now, there are larger countries, and there are smaller countries in the world. We're only looking at this selection of countries here. So Algeria is the largest, Greece is the smallest. So when we would go to organize the information again. It says, order the countries from largest to smallest. We're gonna start with the largest number and put that one on the top. Well, that is the same one that they started with at the top of our alphabetical chart, and that's Algeria, with 919,600 square miles. So 919, comma, 600. You might be thinking to yourself, well, why am I rewriting this table? Well, Greece, which was in the middle of the pack for alphabetical order, is now at the bottom of our table here when it comes to largest to smallest. So Greece, you go here at the bottom with 50,900 square miles. Greece is a small island in the Mediterranean. And that's how you would go about organizing this information from largest to smallest. You have to compare the values uh, in the numbers, first looking at the hundred thousands place value and then the tens of thousands place value. Now, down at the bottom, we have some practice problems. Now, uh, sometimes teachers will forget to point these out, but whenever you see practice problems, these are usually review of concepts that you've already practiced. Let's just try one. 140 minus 60. Now, they wrote that uh, horizontally or in number sentence form. It is better if we turn that around and make it an algorithm or vertical. I'm going to subtract 
140 minus 60. Now, I always start from the right when I'm subtracting, so 0 minus 0 is 0. 4 minus 6 doesn't work, because if I have 4, I can't take 6 away. So I'm, I need to look at the hundreds place value and borrow. Now, if I just look at this section right here, if I remember that 140 is 14 tens, and that 6 tens is another way of saying 60, I'm just subtracting 14 minus 6. You can count back from 14 down 6 to get your answer, and of course that would leave you with 8. Because if I turn that around, 8 plus 6 is going to give me 14, so 8 tens plus 6 tens is going to give me 14 tens. Just like riding a bicycle, it all kind of comes back to you with a little bit of practice. So 80 is my answer, my difference. And that's it. So take a crack at all of these problems. Uh, you're going to reorganize that table. You're going to answer some questions about comparing the areas of Laos and Uganda. Uh, and this will help you understand uh, the values of large numbers. Thank you very much.